Hello, my name is Gark City 2 and welcome back to our Divine Journey 2 playthrough. I am crafting up all the magical tablets that we're going to need. And I have, I crafted up the four that I started with the last episode and took note of some of the issues. And one of the things is the alchemy stuff is a bit of an issue one of them is the the ones that like put it's not necessarily these it's ones that do a bucket uh so incendium and the water one aquasalis or whatever it is i can't remember the name of it it can basically only do one at a time and it it kind of pauses before it can pull the the bucket out before it starts crafting up another one so that definitely kind of blocks a lot of the other things from crafting so i've started splitting them out to help help craft that those uh those ones that require the bucket and i'm just like looking at some of this stuff i'm like i can't believe i've like automated all these like crazy things like the ender, eated arrows, all these potions. I don't know. It's just really cool seeing it completely automated. Uh, so what I've done is put out the incendium ones because we need quite a bit of those. So those can start crafting and then we can have other things crafting. And I split all the, the catalysts off as well. Because what it was doing, it was kind of cycling. It was doing like an... In Three incendium, which would take a while, then it would do a catalyst, then three incendium and like a catalyst. And it was uh it was just being bottlenecked for that. So I'm gonna probably continue crafting up more of these as I notice we need them and I have plenty of channels over here. I think we have in like twelve channels I could. Uh, a lot of this stuff we don't need to speed up. Like, I'm not going to do it for every single one of these, but there are definitely a few in here that uh, can be sped up by splitting them off. I'll probably do the this one, Aqua Salus. I'll probably throw that on another one when I get an alchemy people craft it up. Uh, that takes a little bit, but it's not too bad. So yeah, just kind of Ooh, I just realized, are we out of... We are. Yeah, blood is... Uh, it's a little bit of an issue. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a little bit of an issue. Also, I don't know why I still have that out there. So basically what I do is... Do that and turn that on, and that pushes everything on to that um, blood thing, and then I fill up that tank. Are they dropping the... Oh, that poison thing doesn't seem to be... Doesn't seem to be doing any issues with the biomes. I really hope that's, like, disabled. How was I doing the Dread Guards again? Oh, Dread Meum, that's right. Okay, we are actually getting those. Okay, I'll leave them, because we do need that. Uh, so that should be filling up our... Yep, it's filling that up. I really should have... See, I didn't like that. That Enderman is flying around with that plague. <laughs> that makes me really, really nervous. Uh, I just have a... Yeah, see, this isn't what we want, is it? Alright, I should probably turn those... Uh... It's an angry... Angry Enderman. There's no way he saw me looking at him from over there. Also, just having Enderman spawning in that thing is a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, we need uh, blood. I wonder if I could kind of mix it with 
What if I could like mix it with that somehow? Hmm. Probably not. I'm just thinking like having one go permanently, but I don't necessarily want spawners running permanently if we don't need it. I don't know. I guess the best way to do that is have a drop farm, I think. Like maybe have like a completely separate like have a, a separate And those things are kind of creepy. You got like mobs spawning up here. Yeah, I don't really like having those drug guards in there to be honest. Also, why does sometimes it work and sometimes it doesn't? Pew, pew, pew. No, you can't hear it. Also, like, I don't want that to, like, do that. <laughs> That's how I lost all our stuff. Remember how we was like, how did I lose all our animals? That's how we did it. All right, so there definitely is issues. For sure, with that, uh... Dang it. Uh, yeah, there's definitely issues with those, that Dread Plague thing that I'm going to have to not have that happen because this is insane also i have my i don't think the magnet works over here because i have it turned off for something there's one of those demagnetized things yeah and i don't want these things like just randomly walking around my base all right so probably not having drag cards spawning all the time is the smart thing to do here. All right. Well, we should be okay-ish. Um, for um, cutting it for a little bit. Okay. So, did we finish up? We did. All right. Cool. What now? Well, I need to go get some more pigs and cows. That's a bit annoying, but uh, magical ingots. All right, so now that I have fixed a couple of things here, we'll try the next four, and I'll just take a look and see what needs to be changed. I have moved a couple things off the pulverizer, I've thrown them on. Like, for example, Corallium, I thought it was going to go faster. There. Most of this stuff isn't too bad, though. But probably can split off more recipes. Just having parallel processing. Go ahead. Oh, I also got more of these because there is a lot of naming going on with all those alchemy things. So I have four of those working now. Alright, well, I guess let me come back and craft up eight more of these in total, and that will be enough for the guy ingots. Why do I have molten bronze over there? Yeah. And uh, I will see... If there is anything uh, that sticks out yeah those those things are taking a while in the crafting hopefully that will speed this stuff up lots and lots of bronze I don't think I did switch bronze to over here I don't think it works in the enriching factory although there is a crusher isn't there isn't that the Pressure that does. I don't know. I would have to. Yeah, crusher. We could do a crusher because that does do pulverizing stuff. Man, I've never really gotten around to 
crafting up a crusher, have I? It's because I used to have the bonus. So I kind of just did everything in the pulverizer. And, uh... Yeah, I should probably get a crusher. Alright. There is the... 16 magical tablets. Obviously, we're going to need many, many more in the future. Um, I did do a little... Upgrading over here. Uh, I was running low on oxygen, so I set up a dedicated pump to produce the oxygen. I mean, nothing super, nothing super fancy. I did add a dimensional transceiver because we were a little bit low on some of the power. But uh, yeah, so that is that. Oh, also, I totally had forgotten about these upgrades for the Blood Infuser. Promise of Velocity, Promise of Productivity. Uh, the Productivity, I'm pretty sure, uses less blood per craft, and then obviously Velocity is the speed. So I ended up crafting those up, which were, at this point, they're like, not a problem at all. Just two of these cores. And we are crafting those up in the hundreds now. So that is the four Gaia pylons. I did craft up the other stuff previously. It's just waiting on the tablets. So there we go. There is the Gaia pylons. Get some more purified tablets. Always nice to have that all right so now we're down to the crystal clusters which require the magical tablets i've already crafted those up but we do need 16 more of those and then the demon blood shards are their own kind of little you know um or their own decently sized process i can't remember how many of these we have uh, i don't know oh yeah we have plenty I mean, I guess I can just make even more. I don't know. I mean, the... I guess the only thing that loses durability is the soul extractor. This doesn't seem to lose durability. So if we want to fully automate this, probably... Chuck this in. Maybe a crafter. I don't know. It doesn't lose it very fast, though. Uh, anyway, so that is that. I will work on that. But we also have the Gaia Guardian. So I do need another beacon. I forgot about that. I did get a, another one a while ago because I knew I was going to need it, and I'd forgotten to craft that up. At this point, though, I mean, it's nothing really. As long as you have the Nether Star. That was like quicker than normal, or quicker than I was thinking that was going to be actually. Uh, I do need to set up a area for this. Um, question is, should I upgrade my armor? Um, I mean, we got a decent-ish. I mean, I really should upgrade our diamond stuff to dark steel. It really would make sense, wouldn't it? Should we finally do that? Because then I can add upgrades. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it might be better. Or oh, actually, the end steel. Would it be the end steel armor or whatever that's called? What's this one? Ender. I think Ender is the best one, isn't it? Or is... Yeah, so like 7 and 3. Yeah, it's better. Gives us a bit more. Maybe I should finally craft that stuff up. The only problem is that... 
We need to keep the jetpack. We are back. I have gone ahead and set up a giant platform and put down our beacon and our Gaia pylons. And I just had a little bit of a thought because I've had issues with these before. Are these glow balls going to be causing an issue with the your train is blocked kind of thing? That might be an issue, but in the meantime, I do have a incense plate, so we can get the, uh, we're doing revitalization on that, so regen two, and then I have a thing for nourishment. Uh, so let's see if this actually works. Okay, it does. And I've. Forgot to light the thing. Oh, well. <laughs> Let me see. Ah. The floor looks a bit funny. I was just noticing. Never did say I was good at... combat in Minecraft. Also, why does, uh, why does the laser only work sometimes? It doesn't always work. A bit funny. Also, I was slightly annoyed I forgot to light that incense. But for what it's worth, the glow balls don't mean to be causing a problem. Hey, buddy. All right, that was relatively easy. Good to know uh, for future that it is very easy. I mean, obviously, tinkers, you're kind of breaking. Uh, you're breaking the mod with the powerful weapons. Like, also, what's with that? Is that like poison? That looks like a poison almost. Okay. Uh, but there we go. We got our Gaia Spirits. We will be fighting this many more times, I am sure. Or even the upgraded version. Um, because I was actually looking at the Shard of Laputa, and if you put this in this mob blue fabricator, I know that's a long time away, but you actually, that's how you produce guy spirits. Um, and it doesn't get consumed, but there is 20, 20 of those, so I'm like, yeah, we'll be fighting the guy Guardian a few times. All right, cool. I wish you could disable that. I never use them, and it's just kind of like takes up. I never remember which is the worst one. Summer, sure, why not? All right, so guy spirit ingots. What is this craziness? Yep, I figured that was gonna be. Oh, that's not bad. You just dump them in a metapool. It probably does require a lot. Let's make a recipe for that. Uh, I will probably, before I do that, I will probably get the, the tier 6 altar probably crafted up before I do that. Not off, otherwise I mess up with my, I should throw a demagnetizer down. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, this one. Mystical tablet. How many of these tablets are there? The, the mystical tablet and then it's the rainbow tablet, right? 
Yes, the rainbow tablet is two mystical tablets with these rainbow slates, which you need a tier six altar for. The stellar alloy. It definitely has some benefits. Also, I totally forgot I was crafting up. <laughs> I was crafting up the ember, and I totally forgot about it. Whoops. I crafted up the dark steel plates. I was going to craft up the ender stuff, and I completely forgot to finish that. Whoops. Oh, well. We'll do that for next time we fight it. I should even have most of it in the A system. That's kind of funny. Problem when you go AFK for a while, you forget what you're doing. So yeah, the stellar alloy ingots require crystalline that. Let's make a recipe for that. Because they are quite strong. I do think since the Gaia spirits aren't overly complicated to get, that uh, we should think about upgrading our alloy smelters, at least these alloy smelters, to the top tier capacitor, I think. Yeah, I think I want to do that. And we will also... Let me just do that before I forget. Uh, well, let's craft that up right away, because there's a quest for it. Not too complicated. So I guess, yeah, our, these are next. I need 16 of those. And we need like 18. What does this final orb require, by the way? I haven't looked. Evil blood orb. Oh, that's like nothing. Oh, it requires a guy spirit. I have... I do have a recipe for that. Do I have the dull dust? I don't remember. Uh-oh, we're out of diamonds. That's terrifying. <laughs> How did that happen? I had like a thousand. Oh well, let's turn this back on. I really should have this running. Like, oh, probably, yeah. We were crafting up a ton of this GP powder for all those tablets. That's where all our diamonds went. I was like, how did we go through, like, 2,000 diamonds? All right. As we can see, got some stuff to do here. And we will come back in a second. Also, what are the stellar capacitors? Expensive, because those melodics aren't a joke. And shulker shells are rather annoying at the moment as well. Um, I'm pretty sure we do have a shulker thing, right? Don't we? I thought we had a shulker... spawner, didn't we? thought we did. Well, time to make a shulker spawner if we don't have one. All right, we are back and I have crafted up most of the magical tablets we need for now because uh, we need 16 of them. So I got those all crafted up, got all these angelics, uh, but there are definitely some deficiencies in our base that we're going to need to deal with. And one I've been putting it off for, I don't know, 50 episodes is sorting out our farm uh because usually i just run over there grab a bunch of stacks and throw them in the nea system but i'm getting tired of it and we need to sort that out also uh now that we have our gaia spirit we can craft up the final retard gem really easy one of these one of those in a full greater 
That's you, the big one. So let's do that. There we go. Easy enough. Let me just empty this into the brand. And we'll throw that in there. I hadn't really been paying attention to that, but I was kind of wondering. Uh, when we were crafting up like hundreds of the reagents and stuff, I was, I never really even thought about it, but uh, like, I wonder if that's actually gonna, are we gonna run out? But it, it pretty much keeps up with it. The, the farm and the, the thing, as we can see, I mean, I've already put <laughs> like 2000 in there. I mean, we have a whole bunch of will stored up. So, we're good on that. All right. Uh, yes. So next thing is these demon blood shards. And uh, yeah, so I went to craft up 16 to see kind of what we need. And there's a couple things I had to make a recipe for the maple saplings. But there are just random things here and there. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, that I need to up our essence production. Uh, nature is a big one. Obsidian, like fire essence. I'm going through like so much of this. Oh man. I feel like I need to sort that out, but I'm just gonna <laughs> craft them a whole stack or whatever by hand and never worry. Not gonna worry about them for a while. The way to automate those is through that multi-block. Uh, but, like I said, there are definitely some things. So I think I need to definitely sort out our... This is up there for our things. But as we can see, Nature Essence, we are a bit struggling on Dugonia. We have a bit of an issue with 3,000 simple catalyst. <laughs> yep, that's a lot. I mean, that is, we're crafting up 64 tier 3 runes for all this stuff. So, I mean, it's, it definitely is no joke. So, Cloudberry, Infernal Bulb, Dugonia. I need to get that sorted. Feather, that is... Chicken essence. I've just never gotten around to needing to make that one. So we can mark that off the the checklist here. Red cedar, I'm assuming I can probably get with essence. Please please tell me I can get it with essence. Yeah. And then this probably with essence. Yep. So essence is definitely get that going, but I do need to make more. I need to make more seeds, like just having the one. And also, uh, they don't really grow at night. So every time it's night, if I'm not sleeping, uh, they don't grow. I think the the greenhouse glass needs needs daytime. There are. Isn't there like a. I don't know if we can get them yet. There are like tick accelerators, isn't there, in Mystical Agriculture? I remember seeing a quest for it and I don't remember where it was. Pretty sure there is like a growth accelerator. Don't remember where it is though. So, uh, yeah, let me work on this. I think I'm going to set up. I like having one totally separate for our, our essences, but I do want to, to get a thing for these. So I may set up a, just a separate one. Probably not here. I don't know where I want it though. I don't think right here, because I'm probably gonna build more of those eventually. I guess we could just do it over here. 
Yes, I think over here, and then I will do drawers. I'll just do drawers for the stuff with the storage bus. That's what I'll do. Okay, we're back, and uh, I don't know what just happened, but I emptied out the crate from actually Dictions. It was completely empty. I broke it because I was going to throw it in my A system, and then all this stuff popped out. The crate was completely empty, and then I broke it, and this, like, exploded everywhere. I have no idea where this came from. There was none of this in the crate when I broke it. It, uh, I'm, like, completely shocked, like, what the heck this is. This is what it looked like when I broke it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> there is two... Oh my goodness, I am so dumb. I didn't know there was two? Alright, who knew there was like... Two crates, or two pages. Am I just totally derpy? Alright, um... Well, didn't realize that was the thing. Although, I will say, I did, it did seem like stuff was uh, not overflowing into the world when the front page was full. And the thing kept like, the thing kept going. And it did seem like some, sometimes... Gotta be careful here what I dump in here, I'll find it again. Uh, it did seem like sometimes I would add a whole bunch more plants, but the amount of stuff we were getting didn't seem to be increasing proportionally. Alright, that is super funny. I never realized there was a second page. That really took me by surprise when that... Uh, all this stuff popped out in the world. I was like, what the heck? Where did this all come from? Especially since I had... I stopped, like, farming beetroot and carrots and stuff a long time ago. Alright, anyway. That was pretty funny. So I finally got around to... putting a... Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, there it is. Generic explode. I was like, where did it go? Uh, yeah, I finally put a muffle down for that explosion because that was crazy. Also, set up a farm. Finally got around to doing that. And you can see I just did these. I didn't do anything. Any of the essences or whatever over here. This is separate. So, just have as many things in it as possible. And a void drawer. So, yeah, that is just chugging along. Also, did I? I did. I forgot to put those Moonglow seeds in. Or whatever they're called. Let's do that. Also, I shouldn't have turned all those into seeds. Oh, well. Those will go pretty quick. As we can see, I just planted it. It's already growing. It's quick. All right, so yeah, I just did a row of each, and then we'll see if uh, if that's okay. Also, gone ahead and expanded this one a little bit. Uh, added rows of nature, fire, and water because those seem to be ones we go through a lot. So, nature definitely. I might even do more nature seeds for all these. Thought I was picking something up. Thought I might have ruined something. Um, all the... It's like terre or whatever. Earth uh, requires quite a bit of nature essence, wood essence. A lot of this stuff requires that. Um, I have also upgraded to a Gaia Mana Spreader now, so we can see how fast that's actually going. 
the runes. So I think that was a pretty good... Yeah, look at that. What was that? One second? It used to be like 30 seconds. So definitely worth that. Also, gone ahead, upgraded stellar capacitors on these three things. It really wasn't that bad at all. Uh, especially we got stellar stellar ingots from that one quest. Also, I've just set this to continually craft up whole coke because I started running low. I am running low on creosote because we need it. Lots and lots of treated wood for one of the, the runes. So we got that going. But all right, uh, let me finish this up. We can see, yeah, 284 windmill, maids, windmill blades that we need. It's like 2,400 treated wood of planks. So this thing is getting depleted quick. I feel like I might even need more. Uh, let me finish this up though, and we will craft up the tier 6 altar and get our new thing. And we are back. I've got everything, I think, for the... Oh, I already forgot what they were called. Oh my goodness. What were they called? <laughs> the cluster... whatchamacallits? Crystal cluster. Let's go ahead and add one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to need more of those, unfortunately. But we do have our evil blood orb, which was pretty easy to craft up. All right, uh, we'll take that 24 elementium. Now, let's go throw these on here. Sometimes the uh, glow balls. I should have the legs are more in the middle, but kind of a a weird placement for the altar. It is what it is. Okay, so I think it worked all right cool so as i was crafting up all the runes i did do eight more of those augmented runes so we have quite a few i don't know i don't know the exact amount i haven't been keeping track but we got five ten fifteen like 22 something like that and then i have some more over here uh, so we are getting a pretty decently sized altar, as we can see. 281,000 now. So we should be plenty good with this. 240,000. So let's get that going. Now that is probably going to take a little while. But that will be our Transcendent Blood Orb. Now, unfortunately, I would have to craft up more of those to fill the the blood over over there. Obviously, that's a tier five. Uh, we will get to that at some point, but those were rather expensive. All the the runes. I mean, that was that sixty four. Needed 64 tier 3 runes, I think we ended up getting in the end. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I do have some speed runes on there as well. Okay, so before I right-click, <laughs> let's heal up a little bit. Alright, there we go. Because last time I did that, I ended up killing myself. But there we go. We got a tier 6 altar. We got the tier 6 blood orb and with that i think we can craft up the rainbow tablet so that is going to need a rainbow slate 
which is its own thing. I can actually start doing that as I'm talking. Um, what we'll do is just put it back in the thing to get that. I know this is just like one rainbow tablet. We're going to need many more, but for that, we will we'll just do that. Also, let's do that tablet, mystical tablets. We have one. It should may have put it in the wrong one, actually. I just realized that. Let me go grab that. Uh, the recipe was supposed to go in this one, because this one is the alchemy. There we go. All right, cool. Turn that off that one. I guess that works. It doesn't matter which one it goes in. I just was thinking it'd be better to maybe put it in there. I don't know. But all right, so there we go. There is one of those tablets. I will continue getting this. And I think what I want next. Oh, I didn't realize that required two crystal clusters. The uh, uh, Flugel Tiara for Creative Flight. I think because then we can just throw that on our. As a bobble, and then I can do full Ender. Ender gear, and then also upgrade these. Eventually, we, we're not haven't gotten to Bewitchment yet. Eventually, we will upgrade them to Stellar, which is quite a bit better. As we can see, it gives 14 and 7. This only gives 8 and 4. So they are quite a bit better. Um, so, yeah. Wow, look at uh, look how much mana I've used with all those runes we were crafting up. Holy cow. I wasn't paying attention to that. I turned this off because we were uh, completely maxed out on all our things. But yeah, those those clusters, they took up a lot of mana. Anyway, that's going to be for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.